In the late 1830s, the first women went out as missionaries with their husbands. Uh, most notably, the first ones were uh, Narcissa Whitman and Eliza Spaulding, and uh, they were followed by other missionary women, and that was very significant because there was this, this image that the West was too rough, too hard, too cruel, that these fair, delicate little flowers known as women would never be able to survive that kind of rough trip. These women proved wrong that they could do it. And so that opened up the doors for migration of whole families of women and their children to be able to make that trip out to, uh, to Oregon and settle primarily in the Willamette Valley where there was very rich, rich farmland. Following that, uh, of course, were the migrations to California. The first uh, immigrant wagon train that, that uh, went to California departed out of this uh, Independence Kansas City region in 1841, and it was led by people from here in, in Jackson County. That was the very first overland wagon train to California, and of course you all know what happened a few years later when gold was discovered in 1848. And that really opened up the floodgates. Um, it was discovered in 1848. It meant that because of transportation and communication and so forth, the main mass migration wasn't until 49, and we've all heard about the 49ers, the men, the men that went out in that first year of the, uh, the California gold rush. Many of those men came through here in Independence in 1849, also 1850. By about 1850, um, more people were starting to go farther upstream to the new town of St. Joseph, Missouri. And so many people were leaving from that uh, rival uh, destination. It's sort of interesting when you uh, get into the newspapers, you begin finding out how much competition there was between some of these frontier jumping off towns where people in Independence would say, well, sure, you can go up to St. Joseph if you don't mind waiting in line for days to get on a ferry to get across the Missouri River because St. Joe was on the other side of the river. And St. Joseph was saying about Independence, well, yeah, Independence, that's, that's okay if you don't mind cholera, you know, because there was cholera epidemic, and so they were bad-mouthing each, each other that, that, that way. 